Hey what's up, this is Master Sound, the I'm producer, and today I'm going to explain how I made my own remix of the song Legacy by Steve Marks with sounds like this. Legacy. Cool, right? Let's dive into it. First of all, we have here the first part, the beginning. Um, it's composed by bass sound. A lot of ambient. And the main lead made with my own voice. I'm going to explain it very, very quickly how I made this sound because I think it's really really interesting and very unique so you can try to add this trick to, into your productions first of all I recorded my own voice uh, making like this kind of sound like okay you got it? first of all I uh, auto tuned it all the recordings I did and then um, I added it, it is composed by many layers okay and each one has an EQ but here I have the bass of the lead uh, where we can check here I used a kickstart to make the side chain uh, little alter boy I really 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 love this plugin for vocals it's amazing because you can change the format without changing the pitch and it's so amazing okay a reverb the camel crusher which i really love as well because it makes the sound it, it is a compressor and distortion at the same time and it's free so i think it's one of those plugins that uh, every producer should have and then we have uh, an eq delay and love filter because the the love filter is for an automation i i made and then we have directly here the vocal which i changed the key uh, also with little alter boy and all, I also changed the BPM of the whole track because the original is 150 okay so I tried to change the 150 to 120 as you can see here here I, we have more elements like a clock and more ambience and other stuff to make the track start with the rhythm I think you can notice very well uh, how the different sounds spread through the stereo image. And then we have here the build up which has really interesting elements. The bass is made with two layers, uh, one of Diva and one of Massive. I like Diva for bass sounds at the beginning because it has that touch of the future bass, okay, uh, sound, not, not the general, the future bass sound, okay and uh, makes it to make it more like plucky you can check here how plucky it is and with some pitch bands this is Diva and everything together now at the build up we have more layers with a piano as you can check I use two pianos because I really really love this plugin because it has a real, a really, it's very realistic the sound, okay? And you can change the different parameters here, and it, it sounds amazing. And here I added some chords. Then we have another layer of the chords with Silent One, which sounds like this to, to introduce you into the next part of the drop. Here is where the cutoff is automated to make the, the, that feeling of build up. And now some snares, some impact effects and all that stuff which sounds like this. And this part right before the drop, uh, I tried to get all those elements out. Uh, that's why I have automated uh, the volume of many layers and I have cut it all the uh, all those patterns okay and uh, I just got a plucky sound plucky bass sound okay it 
has a lot of reverb and then uh, the reverb is automated so if it doesn't have barely reverb at this pre-drop part and then you get right into the drop here as you can see I, I added a lot of layers of percussion we have drop claps, we have a big kick with uh, some layers of snaps and uh, claps okay uh, we have also some high heads we have a shaker here uh, some high heads here as well and some effects so that's why the foundation of the drop is sounds like this At the second part we have here uh, more extra layers, for example this uh, hi-hat loop which I really use uh, I, a lot because I love it and I think it's getting a bit of my signature sound because I use it a lot <laughs> and I think it has a lot, a lot of personality and here at the drop bass pattern we have uh, some layers of the bass but this time with extra bass, okay, it sounds harder, okay and we have uh, the recordings I made, uh, as I said before the introduction, here and two extra layers because they are like the dub voices and it's really important when you are recording uh, some voice, some acapellas, okay? Uh, to introduce some dub voices because they really fill the space and they are so important and here they are used as the lead, so they are very very important and they are also uh, guided by some extra um, scenes and s some extra layers for example we have this trumpet sound just add some notes as you can check here and here at the second part of the drop we have more elements like another layer of that lead that vocal lead, okay. I added also uh, like with the piano layers uh, those chords but with uh, a guitar with a lot of reverb and other effects so it it also uh, makes the drop feel like it is a bit more alive, okay. I don't know if that makes sense but And now here at the change be in between the first drop and the second part of the song we have a sub drop and a lot of effects okay like stripe ups and stripe downs and it sounds like this and also that uh, feel sound Durantan, which I love because I think it it here it's like the rhythm has stopped but just for four bars and it makes you uh, like keep going with that rhythm uh, because then is the second part of the track it's composed by a kick, okay, a sub kick everything is side chained, the chords and everything is side chained and the second build up is almost the same but with those extra layers of uh, rhythm, okay and the second drop has at the first part uh, that extra layer of a top uh, layer because at the second part I interacted the vocal again but the vocal which is used at the second build up at the original song because I really really I, I thought it would fit and it fits so well in my opinion so that's the track so now I'm going to talk about uh, the track not in that technical way so in the way of what I was thinking when I created the track, okay? So first of all, I wanted to create that mode. For example, uh, in in Spain we have Ibiza, which is very important for our industry. It's not Ibiza is not just party as a lot of people think, because there are some moments, for example, at the sunset when everyone is chilling and the music is more like chill music. For example, we have Café del Mar, and I think those places are losing importance. And that's why I wanted to create like this more chill version. I think it's for like those moments when you are relaxing, when you are chilling, 
and I think it suits perfect. Thank you so much for watching this video, thank you so much for watching me and for getting interested in my remix of how I did it. So uh, see you at the next time and remember that you can subscribe and you can hit that like button and remember that you can also follow me at Master Sound. You have my soul cells and follow me and you can also follow their record label which is Fresh Breath Records and I don't have much to say so see you the next time. Bye! <laughs>